In Washington, the president is melting down. Today, we learned <laughs> via the New York Times that the president repeatedly discussed firing the intelligence community inspector general for sharing the whistleblower's complaint with Congress. The inspector general is required by law to submit any complaint he finds to be urgent or credible. And this is a guy who was appointed by Donald Trump. Trump, of course, wanted to fire him because he doesn't understand that he isn't still hosting a reality television show. <laughs> Tomorrow, the public portion of the impeachment hearing begins. We get to hear live, in-person testimony from government officials about the president's double dealing in Ukraine. And to counter that, Trump is planning a bigly reveal of his own. He wrote, I will be releasing the transcript of the first and therefore more important phone call with the Ukrainian president <laughs> for four weeks hence. His defense has gone from read the transcript to no, wait, hold on, read this other transcript. <laughs> because it's first and therefore more important. His younger son, Eric, is not gonna be happy to hear it's first and more important, but the only way the first phone call would be more important is, than the one we, we read is if it turns out Trump said, listen, Zelensky, in a couple months, I'm gonna call you, and as a joke, I'm gonna try to extort you, okay? <laughs> Keep that between us. It makes no sense. It's like O.J. releasing his honeymoon pictures and saying, see, we got along great. It's... <laughs> Trump originally said he would release the transcript today. Now he's saying it'll happen by the end of the week. So why did he say he'd release it today? What is this, a new Kanye album? What is going on? <laughs> And not only that, we already have a transcript. We've got testimony from multiple witnesses. We got the whole KFC bucket of crimes. We don't need the coleslaw, too, okay? <laughs> House Republicans held a mock Q&A session today to practice their intent to cover up his mess tomorrow. There's a memo making the rounds in D.C. that outlines the Republican plan to defend the president. And maybe the funniest part of all this, something I think we're, we forget, is that Trump wants us to believe the reason he held up the aid money and demanded investigations is because he was concerned about corruption in Ukraine. <laughs> the guy who had to pay out $25 million for running a fraudulent university wants us to believe he cares about corruption in a country he definitely couldn't find on a map. There's no <laughs> way. The other bit of you craziness today, remember last month when the FBI arrested those two goons who uh, allegedly helped Ruli Giuliani with the, the Biden investigation. Well, their names are Lev Parnas and Igor Fruman. Trump has repeatedly claimed he doesn't know these guys. And usually, when Trump claims he doesn't know someone, it means they had sex. But in this case, <laughs> it turns out that Trump met and was photographed with these guys a lot of times. <laughs> There he is. It's Igor with him at Mar-a-Lago in 2018. Uh, there's Igor again with Trump. There they are at the America First Super PAC. This is Trump with Lev at his golf club in Miami. Uh, again with Lev last year at the Trump Hotel. Another one with Lev last year. Trump with Lev and Lev's son at his golf club. Again at the Trump Hotel. And all together now, Lev, Igor, Rudy, Mike, and Donald. But he doesn't know them. There are more pictures of him with these two, then there are of him with Tiffany, but he says he doesn't know them. He's like, look, when you surround yourself with as many criminals as I do, it's hard to keep them straight. <laughs> Meanwhile, Rudy Giuliani is supposedly working on a podcast. I guess he decided he needed a new venue in which to accidentally confess to crimes. <laughs> and so he's getting... This is going to be some podcast. Rudy Giuliani, I don't know if you remember, he had to go to an Apple store to get his iPhone unlocked. He butt-dialed multiple reporters... <laughs> He accidentally texted his password to a reporter. There should be a rule that you can't host a podcast unless you know how to download one first. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to I hope he does one of those Me Undies commercials that everyone does. <laughs> Another star from the Trump universe has fallen from the sky. I don't know if you are aware of this, but last night, the president's former press secretary, Sean Spicer, ended his inexplicably long run on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> he was eliminated. Um, <laughs> Remember when Sean Spicer was in the White House? It feels like it was like 18 years ago. It's... But between that and Dancing with Stars, few Americans have humiliated themselves more deeply on television than Sean Spicer. And for that, we salute him with this look back at our dancing star.
Sean. Well, you know what? I'll say this. He, he, <laughs> he danced like no one was watching. Uh, tragically, we actually were. So. And as Sean Spicer's dance career comes to a close, this is MAGA Nation's next run at the arts. I mentioned this on our show last night. The MAGA Challenge. This is a competition promoted by our president, encouraging his supporters to post videos of themselves rapping about their love for Donald Trump. He claims he'll invite the winning rappers to the White House, and so far, the results have been nothing short of magnificent. Walked away from the myth that hysteria. All the fake news is getting more scarier. What's the truth? I only see barriers. They speak for me, but don't live in my area. Shout out to my boy Bryson for the track. Man, you black, but you wear your MAGA hat. What is that? I'll take Gorsuch and Cap protecting our liberties while the Dems over there thinking, should we run Hillary? Don't think you got my vote just cause I'm Hispanic. Don't tell Chuck and Nancy cause they'll probably panic. America first, America safe, America financially engaged. Trade economy, save the babies, no more rage. And you wanna talk about a cage. President, Mr. President, can I be your friend? Trump, bitch, you my, you my babe. I might just have sex with you all day. Slow down, Stormy. He's a married man. <laughs> I hope he wins. <laughs> of course, politics isn't the only thing driving this country apart now that the uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich is back. <laughs> People are really going crazy over this. This is from a Popeye's here in L.A. An employee apparently was caught trying to secretly sell a sandwich on the side. <laughs> and all hell broke loose. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We got some good old chicken. You can't believe who the f is behind me. I'm flabbergasted. Here, this is WKTB TV. Once again, it's fighting in this motherfucker. And then he had the fryer basket. <laughs> what the hell are they putting in those sandwiches? Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Click below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, or if you want to be that way about it, don't.